they're the same. They've never even seen their parent parents, so they really don't even know that they're birds. To them, this is very much like the rest of the flock out here, so it's usually a really social time for them. They like to come out here. Oh, I'm waiting, just wait for me. <laughs> She's waiting. Um, paying attention though, right? Yeah. You're being very patient, because you know the, the treats are coming. <laughs> yeah, there you go, you're very cute. And with eight parrots that live here, we like to rotate them out here with the public every couple of hours so they can all take a chance to, to visit with everybody and uh, kind of gives them a chance to rest and relax too if they need that. We wouldn't expect them to sit out here nicely all day long, they'll be asking a little much. Uh, and we have been working on a little bit of free flight behavior with Dominic, yeah, I know. <laughs> you're cute. Um, I'm going to have her come flying right down here. You want to see her fly? Come over here. Come over here. I'm going to have her fly right next to you, okay? Come right over here. She's going to wait for me to call her. Turn around. You watch her fly right down here. Just turn around. You're going to watch right up there. Dominic, are you ready? Okay, come on down here. Come on down here. There you go. You guys, look at that. Give her a little wave. Hello. 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 That's very cute. Thank you, Dominic. Very nice. Huh? She says hello. She has a really kind of a quiet little voice. You have to kind of pay attention to what she's talking. Otherwise, it's a little bit hard to hear. Yeah. It's a good goodie song. Tasty. Yeah. And that little kiss right here. I'll let you finish your seat. She's got a good manner. Take kiss. Take She's blowing kisses. I don't get them on the lips today. Blow them a kiss. Those little tiny kisses. That's really cute. Blow them a kiss over there. Blow them kisses. Okay, that's really quiet. Blow them a tiny birdie. Well, they are prey species, so prey species, of course, would be very conscious, very aware of any changes in their environment, because if they were living out there in the wild, they'd really have to be paying attention so they wouldn't end up being somebody's meal. Right, yeah. Give them a little wave. Say hello. That's a cute little hello. Hello. That's very nice. Thank you, Dominic. Dominic likes to, uh, likes to show off when she's out here. She likes to dance. Can you show everybody how you like to dance? Spin around for me. We'll wait till you're finished with your seat because you're taking a long time to eat your seats today. He's getting his picture taken, Nancy. Yeah. Yeah. Show him how you dance. Spin around like this. Really, chairs don't eat parrots, okay? Show him how you dance. There you go. Spin around. Keep going. One more time. There you go. Whoa, are you getting dizzy? <laughs> getting dizzy. <laughs> How about showing everybody your favorite impression? Now she thinks she's a lot bigger than she really is. She gets feeling very patriotic. Can you show everybody your great big American Eagle? Oh. Big Eagle! Oh. One more time, your great big Eagle. Ta-da! Oh. There you go, that's really nice. Now this type of bird is going to be found throughout um, some of the smaller islands right off the coast of Australia, not on the mainland of Australia. This is a lesser sulfur crested cockatoo. Sometimes people get this a little bit confused with the greater sulfur crested cockatoo. <laughs> and the greater sulfur crested cockatoo is the ones that live on the mainlands of Australia. Very common, those birds. In fact, there's so many of them that people over in Australia will sometimes consider them a pest species because they tend to be a little bit destructive, especially with some of the crops and things like that that they grow there. These guys are found over there by Indonesia, um, the Moluccan Islands, what they call Australasia, and they are actually critically endangered in the wild. There's less than 7,000 of them left out in the wild, so we're very lucky to have Dominic. Of course, Dominic was hatched here in the States, just like all of our birds were, yeah, because <laughs> we wouldn't want to take them out of the wild. If that's where they were, that's where they should be staying, huh? Yeah? You're so cute. <laughs> Yeah. Very nice today. You're paying attention? You're really smart, right? Yes, they all parrots are flock species, yeah. So they're very, very social creatures. In fact, these guys are really intelligent animals. Um, the best description I've heard is that they have about the intelligence of a three-year-old human child with the attitude and temperament of the two-year-old. So not always a good combination, but that's fairly accurate. Um, in fact, they're very easy to train, as long as you know how to do a little bit of training. It's a lot harder to train the trainer than it is to train the parents. So I've tried to teach people how to train. That's not easy. Um, it takes a lot of consistency. It takes a lot of timing. Yeah, it's very cute. Thank you.
The healthiest foods for these parrots are going to include lots of the same kinds of healthy things that people should be eating. Unfortunately, a lot of people kind of forget what healthy people food is, and that means no french fries or um, pizza or hot dogs. In fact, the other day I had, that's not funny, he's up there laughing. I had one guy tell me um, last week that he was feeding his parrot bacon. Not such a good thing to feed a parrot. They're not going to be finding bacon and pizza and hot dogs out in the wild. These guys will eat anything that we are eating because they consider us their flock. So they think if we're eating something that must be good and fine for them to eat, doesn't mean that it's healthy for them just because they eat it. <laughs> The healthiest things, of course, are going to include lots of fresh fruits and vegetables every day. These guys get a very wide variety of fresh fruits and veggies. And then uh, they also eat. And um, it's very nice for them up there. It's all climate controlled. They have their own nice big enclosures. We have some jungle sounds piping in the background. We even have a special shower that was keep for our birds so they don't take a shower every day. Which is, of course, a very important part of a nice, uh, healthy feather condition because these guys are tropical species, remember? Down there around the rainforest and the tropics, they're pretty much getting a, a natural bath just about every single day. So being that we live here in the desert, it's very important that they get a nice shower. So feather is nice. Did you guys want to take a little close look? You can come up here and take a close look. Yeah, they're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> just don't try to reach up there and grab them or touch them or anything like that. They're, they're usually not real fond of strangers or people that they don't know trying to touch them. Makes them, makes them feel a little bit uncomfortable if that happens. This little white bird is named Dominic. I know I see you. <laughs> Dominic is a lesser sulfur crested cockatoo. And right next door, the bigger bird is a blue and gold macaw named Houdini. These are two of our eight parrots that live here at the Rainforest Cafe. I have to ask you to stay yeah, thank you. That's better. Tell you what, would you guys like a close-up look? Because I can bring them down here to yeah. visit with you. Yeah. Houdini, come on down here for me. Now, Houdini is a pretty good talker when he feels like talking. Come on down here. I do have goodies. Sometimes it bribes helps, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Excuse me. Let me come right over here so I can get him down. There we go. Long tail, huh? Yeah. How about a nice big wave for everybody in a high? That's a good one. Oh, oh. A big wave and a high. Hi. He's waving. Hi. Yeah, that's a good high. Hi. Hey. Mm. Come around. Gee, come around. No, the other side. Can you blow them all a big fat juicy kiss? Just right over there, blow them a big kiss. Long kisses. Oh, no, big juicy kiss over there. Yeah. And sometimes this bird thinks that he's a different kind of bird. Do you know what a chicken sounds like? Huh? Do you know? Can you tell me? Oh, she just supposed to wait for me. Can you tell me? You already heard it. He's cheating. How about showing everybody your impression of a chicken? Sure. Not when I ask. How about a chicken? Where's your chicken? <laughs> and he's not really a chicken. What kind of bird are you? Dominic. Oh. Oh. Sit right over there for me and be patient. Because I'll get to you in just a little bit. It's okay. Dominic doesn't hurt other parents. Can you show me what kind of bird you are? What kind of bird are you? We don't get a pretty bird today? He doesn't feel much like talking, I suppose. Hmm? Can you show him what a good parrot says? What do you say? What do you say? Boy, that was probably one of the cracker, huh? There you go. Did you guys have any questions for me about parrots? 